Hi, this is Jerry Rutherford, NGT Systems. We're going to go through the basic setup for uh, the RCA scanner for scanning corrosion. Uh, we'll go ahead and set up the cabling and such. If you look at the main connector going into the, the scanner itself, there's a thick area right here that always points up so you don't have to search to connect it. I said confidently. Give it a half twist, connect the black to the black, and the red coax to the red. Other, other end of the cable, the large black D44 connector goes to the top of the Raptor and screw down the thumb screws. The red coax goes to the TR side, which is on the far left of the Raptor on the top. And the black connector goes to the R, which is the second one over. The gray plug connects to the RCBU unit, where it says scanner. Don't turn on the scanner just yet, because we have to select that in the Raptor. We're using a dual element transducer on the scanner. And we want to calibrate that. You'll notice that it's got a split down the center of it. There's an LM on each side. So we need to select that on the Raptor to be a dual element transducer. I'm going to take the step block and put it on the 100,000th step, which is the smallest one. and adjust our zero for it to read 100 thousandths. But we're going to adjust our threshold first to bring it down where it is on the right echo. Go to Mode, Thickness, Thresh, and it'll be the IP Thresh because that's the only one we're using. And bring it down to where it pinges on this first echo here. And then adjust the zero, press the calibration button on the front panel, and go to zero and adjust the up arrow key until it reads 100 thousandths on the screen. Move the step wedge to the thickest step, which is half inch. And adjust the velocity to read 0.5. Be sure to go back to the small step, the hundred thousandths, and check it and adjust as necessary. And that will be again your zero. Luckily we don't have to adjust it and just check your half inch once again and 501 we're close enough we could slightly adjust that to bring it right in perfect okay that's calibrated now We can turn the scanner on. Oh, no, we can't. Um, press menu escape to get back to the main menu. Go to the scan selection or F5. Hit enter and select scanner F5 or highlight it and press enter. And then highlight and the selection for RCA 10H automated pipe scanner and press enter. Now we can turn on the power to the scanner. That's on the RBCU unit. And we can go to a new scan. Press enter to select that. We can adjust, we need to adjust all the different parameters for the scan itself. You'll notice the first one is IP to first is what we're actually measuring. That's the data acquired. The x-axis length 
X is going around the pipe circumferentially, Y is going down the length of the pipe. In this case we're going to go with 6 inches. As far as the length goes, we'll adjust that Y axis to about 9 inches. Pressing the enter key will bring up the, um, the uh, keypad and you can highlight the numbers, press enter to select and then go down and accept to lock it in. And we're going to adjust our X and Y axis index. These are set to 50 thousandths now. Uh, I think we'll leave it there. That's nice. And then we'll select the scan axis and we're going to be taking scans off the Y axis so it'll actually move down the length of the, uh, the Y to the 9 inches, step over 50 thousandths and come back and step over again and come back so we're actually scanning down the length of the pipe instead of back and forth across the circumference data stored is going to be overwrite in case we end up with a lower number someplace or a higher number and go up and accept it and now we're going to place the position of the scanner itself on the pipe using the arrow keys left and right we'll move that over to the back side of this pipe to about there press enter to accept and we can start the scan If you need to adjust anything, simply press the freeze button and that'll stop the scanning where it is. You can make the adjustments as necessary. In this case I'm going to adjust the gain up to about 65 per dB to give us a better image. And then press start scan again and press enter and it'll continue. Uh, I notice now that my blocking gate is into the material itself and some of the echoes so we need to stop that and adjust it so we hit freeze again menu escape go to mode thickness and then IP blocking gate and we can bring that out beyond we'll notice that there is some anomalies on the scan line itself so we want to adjust the threshold Go to Thresh, Enter, and then IP Thresh, and adjust it above the noise in the, the scan. We can also adjust the uh, range so that we have full screen displayed. Press Menu Escape and then Cal, and go to the range and adjust the down arrow key to spread out your echoes. The full screen. Menu escape and go back to scan and start scan. And our scan will continue from now on. Pause this again for more adjustments. You'll notice the white little dots all through here are actually caused by additional noise on this going up and impinging on the thickness gate, causing it to read. So we do want to readjust that threshold by pressing escape, selecting mode, and then thickness, and then thresh, and threshold one, and bring that up just a little bit more. Press menu escape twice to go back to the main, actually three times to go back to the main screen and select scan and then start scan.
The scan is now finished and the RCA-10 will move back to its home position or the start position of the scan. There is a selection in the setup menu for the scanner to defeat that so it won't go back to home. We're going to cancel this so we don't save the scan because we're going to clean this up a little bit. 